Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at these two Guardian of the Galaxy 2-packs, Star-Lord and Drax and Groot and Rocket Raccoon from the Play School Marvel Superhero Adventures line. Uh, these came out a good couple years ago, I believe back when the first movie came out. Uh, I randomly found this one recently at a Kohl's for five bucks and it was such an astronomical find that I had to track down the Rocket and Groot to go with it. I love all four of these figures. I think they're just fantastically done. I think Groot is probably my favorite, but still all really well done. I wish we had a Gamora. They didn't give us a Gamora, so which is kind of a bummer. Need to round out the team there. But this is obviously two of these little two packs. Usually retail for somewhere in the area of $5.99, $6.99, something like that, but uh definitely had to pay quite a bit to get this <laughs> i found it on amazon for around 20 which is not a great price but considering i got this one so cheap i kind of feel like the overall price per figure is not too bad so taking a look at the back here uh this one says the marvel superheroes always have what it takes to save the day they actually both say that so they're just generic byline not really specific to the guardians in any way which is kind of a bummer but very cool packs here so let's go ahead we'll get these guys out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look so here we have the guardians of the galaxy all four of these figures look absolutely fantastic my only complaint with them is i kind of wish they came with some accessories they all have open hands they each have at least one open hand so it looks like they could hold an accessory they just don't actually come with any um rocket at least i feel like should have come with something also he doesn't have a tail which is a little weird. Being a raccoon, he definitely should have a tail. Even if it was just kind of... I guess I didn't know how to handle it. And it would have been strange. I don't know. He definitely looks good. I love the face sculpt. The paint's very sharp. Has a nice shoulder joint. Which is a little hindered by his shoulder pad. But not too big a deal. And then of course the normal wrist and waist movement. So overall I think he looks really fantastic. Just wish he had an accessory or something, and I kind of wish he had a tail. Next up, we'll go with Groot, the other half of the two-pack. Groot is fantastic. I have absolutely no complaints about Groot whatsoever. Head can move from side to side. He has the same shoulder joint as well. Now, his up out to the side movement is a little hindered because of his shoulders, but again, not a big deal. Wrist swivel waist movement he looks fantastic i love this figure so much next up we have drax really nice job i like the paint and the detail they use for him the color scheme is great he has all the typical articulation head shoulders wrist and waist and you can see he's got a little ravager symbol on his belt which is pretty cool and then last but certainly not least star lord Great detail on the mask. The paint is very sharp. I like that a lot. And I like the design of his jacket. He's kind of got these pockets on the side. Again, he's got a Ravager symbol. Standard articulation. But yeah, all four of these figures are just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, if I had to nitpick, I kind of wish they just had some accessories or something. But I can understand why they don't. And I think they're fantastic. I was really happy to pick up these original figures because I believe that Rocket and Groot, at least... Are getting new figures um, as part of the you know Marvel Play School line, but as it is with all of their figures now, they have the goofy play features. So I think Rocket has like a giant gun on his arm that you can't take off. And from what I've seen from pictures from Toy Fair, Groot has um, the arms similar to the new Iron Man, where it's like really big, exaggerated arms that come down on both sides, and then he's got some tree roots coming out instead of like the blasters for iron man and i don't know it just looks kind of weird to me and i don't really care for those weird goofy action features so i was very excited to just get these normal figures they look great absolutely fantastic really happy to add them to my collection so let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like and share the video and please subscribe i hope you enjoyed the look at these two guardians of the galaxy two packs of rocket and groot and drax and star lord and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.